Hello everyone, Lurgs here and today how to add salt and rinse aid to your dishwasher. If the salt or rinse aid light is lit up on your dishwasher then it's time to add some salt and rinse aid. And we add salt to dishwashers to help soften the water and prevent lime scale, which is especially important in hard water areas. And we add rinse aid because that helps your glasses come out sparkling clean and it also helps the drying process. You can buy three in one tablets to go in your dishwasher which contains salt and rinse aid but these aren't as effective. Now isn't salt wonderful? We put it on our roast to stop us crashing, we put it on our boiled eggs to make them taste delicious but mostly we put it on our chips or french fries. What we're going to need today is dishwasher salt granules, you can get these from your local shop or supermarket and you're going to need rinse aid. First of all let's add the salt. Open up your dishwasher and remove the lower basket and the salt reservoir should be at the base of the dishwasher and it has a big S symbol on it. If you just unscrew it anti-clockwise it may be a bit stiff if you haven't topped up for a long time because you will get a bit of salt corrosion on the thread so that may be a little bit stiff. If we look inside this definitely needs topping up with salt. This cap's a little bit dirty, so take your partner's toothbrush and just give that a nice good clean. And then it's worth just cleaning the threads around the salt reservoir. When you bought the dishwasher, it should have come with a funnel and this is used for topping up the salt. If not, just use any funnel, but this slots inside the salt reservoir then take your dishwasher salt granules and just start pouring them in. If the salt reservoir is completely empty, it will take about one and a half kilograms of dishwasher salt, which is about half of this bag. And as you're pouring the salt granules in, this will displace any water inside the salt reservoir. And you will see that water come out into the dishwasher. This is nothing to be worried about. This is completely normal. You can see there the water is just starting to come out. So just keep topping up with the salt until it reaches near the top. Just a note, if you live in a country with soft water, your dishwasher may not even have a salt reservoir. You can see the water being displaced there, completely normal. Whilst you're filling it up with salt every now and again, just have a look inside and see if it's nearly filled up. Let's just have a look, that is nice and filled up. Then put the lid back on, which we've just cleaned. If you did spill any salt inside the dishwasher, just give that a quick wipe, because obviously salt is corrosive. Now let's top up the rinse aid. This goes in this compartment here on the back of the front door. Just open up the panel. Take your rinse aid and just start squirting that in. Just keep squeezing it until it reaches near the top. Fabulous. Then just close the lid. Brilliant stuff. Then we're ready to actually wash some dishes. Put your dishwasher tablet in, close the door and start a dishwashing program. Don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back and hope they don't notice. Actually, I'm only joking. This is a spare toothbrush I use for cleaning. And then if you're going to be doing any how-to videos, make sure you have a lovely cup of tea. Can't do any work without a lovely brew. Whilst I'm having a cup of tea in the top right, there's a video on how to disconnect your dishwasher. In the top left, how to connect and install a dishwasher. And in the bottom left, how to keep your dishwasher hygienically fresh. I hope that was useful.